so let me create a folder let me give a name as send grid and uh, let me open this in vs code just type cmd in the uh, folder path over here and once that comes up you can just give code space dot this will open up vs code and here let's initialize this as a npm uh, node.js project so let's give npm in it and i believe it's y for keeping all as a default so that they would there won't be any questions asked otherwise they'll ask uh, every question explicitly so it's better to give hyphen y so it will create a package.json with all the defaulted values along with that let's create a, a new file called index.js and uh, here the first thing that's required is uh, the library so let's give it as send grid and uh, write require and give the module name so this is the module name let's try to install this if it's not installed there is no not, uh, node modules also so we'll have to install this so for that you'll have to just type npm i and pass this so i've already done that previously so just confirming it's sent at the rate send grid slash mail just hit the enter button and it should get installed and you should see node modules coming up here to have all the required uh, you know, dependencies installed so the next thing is um, we have to set the send grid api for that you'll have to give send grid slash uh, dot and there is an option called set api key click on that and then here you'll have to provide the api key now from where you'll get the api key uh, in the previous video i had already shown from where to get it you'll have to go to settings go to api keys uh, click on create so once you click on create based on whatever requirement it is uh, give the permission access i mean uh, permission for that api let me give it as test 2 i'll give full access click on create and view and you need to copy this as soon as possible and paste it somewhere or else you're going to lose this you need to create a new api then so that's created i've copied it now let's go back and uh, paste the api which we just copied and paste it here now the next thing what you need to do is create a module dot exports and um, then provide um, the function as async and write function and open close if there's any parameter you can pass that here and open close curly braces and at the end uh, put a open close bracket so that it all you know we don't have to explicitly call this function it runs as soon as we call index.js and uh, now let's test this first if console.log is coming so this is also done So you'll have to just type node and pass the file name index.js. So 
so I'm seeing high coming up here so that's working